So this is what we're making and it is to replace what you can see there um, but the gaps in that is too large and the cat crawls through so we're going to replace that with something that's a bit closer with smaller gaps but you could make it any size you wanted it'd be just a case of um, smaller battens or make them further apart and the distance between there and there will determine the number that you're going to need for the length that you need so obviously you'll divide the length up by whatever that distance is going to be let's not make it too complicated eh? right so the holes the holes are square as you can see so these tops are cut at 45 okay okay so we've decided we're going to make them a meter long these are a meter long um, and what we want now is the ends cut at 45 degrees we're going to use an ordinary um, ordinary square and just cut 45 degrees like so and then the other end both ends match in other words the slope goes in the same direction like so boink, boink. okay and then we're going to cut those But of course, if you're going to use um, hard point saws, they're very sharp, so do be careful. And to make sure I get them all the same length, is simply use this one as a pattern. And I'll put on there Pat. That's not because Pat's a friend of mine, it's because um, that's short for pattern. That was pretty obvious, wasn't it? Oh, we we'll have put the pattern on top, tap them all to one end, so we know that we're going to fit them all in. And just, just check that they're all long enough. That one's only just long enough, but that don't matter. That's good enough. In fact, that's good. That's good. Da 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 dee. Don't run away when you can take it from here now. Fingers away. And you can see that the the cramp is between me and the saw teeth, just in case it it jumps and and cuts you. Should have showed how I made this pattern. Um, and the holes are already in it, but so um, I can do it now. First of all, we need to find the centre of of the batten. Um, so we need a gauge and to find the center obviously you come in from both sides that's adjusted and that's the center then we need a line described the full length um, you could you could put a frame together yourself just by nailing it to determine where you want you want the nails um, but I've already done that um, yeah I've already worked out what my gaps are going to be but they can be anything they could be five six inches they could be in my case I'm making mine gaps four inches so I've set I've set my um, divider at four inches but we do want to make sure that it is exactly from there to the first hole the same at both ends so that when you're putting your your battens together it doesn't matter which way ring they go because you might not want to swip them ring so once you've determined um, where it's going to come uh, and you can do it all sorts of ways you can make it blah, 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 blah. you can complicate it as much as you like but basically I'm going to um, 
I've, I've gone to the centre and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the one in the middle, one, two, three, four is five. One, two, three, four is five. And that is where I'm going to put it. I've measured that. I've measured that. There's my centre. And that's where my first one's going to go. And I'll push that in to make a really good dent. And then again that way. And then again that way, and then again that way, and so on, until I've got to the outside, and then go back the other way. So, so, so. Now, and by doing that, the distance from there to there is the same, and the distance from there to there is the same. So I can put those battens any way round when I'm making up my making up my frame okay um, and then of course then I'll, I'll, I'll drill the holes so I'll show, show you that later on so that's how you make your pattern but as I say that one's all that pattern's already made because I made it earlier and I've made them all now and I'm <laughs> and I realized I hadn't done a, a video of putting the pattern on Okay, so we've got enough to do what we want, all cut to length um, and all with a pilot hole to locate the nails. Now must be a good time to give it a coat of um, preservative then it gets in between all the joints. This is a water-based preservative, um, supposed to be eco-friendly. I expect it's, it might be cause, just because it's green. <laughs> Come over. Okay, time to put them together. Now, it ta takes a little bit of getting your head around it, but if you imagine one of these all closed up, like so, with the holes all in a line like that, and then the ones going opposite, the ends want to be level, so to make it easier I'm going to come on here and I'm going to get Few now started. Like so. Obviously being careful not to nail into me spacer wood. Right, and then that's gonna line up. Take you can make the way now. We know, we know where we're going with it. And that's gonna go and then line the nails up with the holes and here we go so you can see that the holes <laughs> I nailed that to that bit of wood did I? now then these first couple I'm going to turn them over and I'm going to bend them And I've bent the nails in line with the grain so that I can punch them in. Okay, now that's given us a start. There we go, look at that. Right, now what we've got to do now is we can either do all of them or we can whatever. So, matching them all up, matching all the thingies up. All the ends, so they all slope the same way. Okay. Down to those two, turn them over, and then so yeah, 
and check in that they're all the same slope that way and they're all the same slope that way. Let's turn that over. And put them bits of wood under there so when I bend them nails over they don't go backwards. Bang them down the grain so that I can, and I'm making sure I'm banging the ends of the nails, so them ends tucked in. Then the next thing I'm going to do after this is to go and stretch it to find the length that I want so that I can cut it off or, or add or add one or two shorter lengths There, that is it. Right, so first now we need to decide on the length we want and we're going to cut it off even to the end of a batten. So, end of batten, end of batten, that is where that is going to get cut off. Right, so we need another couple of short bits in there. It's the longer lines, that line. That line. Not perfect, but there we go. It's the first go. We can go and put them odd bits in now, which probably use your cuts. Now, the little short bits, the last bits, it's probably easier to put them in with it, all, with it opened up, if you can. Well, I mean, obviously I'm in my shed. You could probably do this in the garden. Do a little bit. There we go. Right, now, that cut off there and it's not worth putting a small one in there. That's going to be a challenge, isn't it? Turning them over. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. There we go. Right, so. There we go. Saw that off, and we've got what we come for. Hey, there we go. I think we're full done up, don't you? Minding not to trap your fingers in, in there. What about that for a neat job then? Um, and there's one I've made with bigger gaps, that's for the allotment to grow my sweet peas up. There we are. All we need now is a skilled gardener to put the climbing plant back. And with the plant all hooked back in and woven in, there, job done.